Everyone and their dog knows protein is the essential nutrient for you. But what happens if we have too much protein? We all know too much of anything can be bad for us. So how does overconsumption of protein affect our body? And more importantly, can it kill you? Well, one thing for certain is if we had no protein, we would all die. 20% of our bodies are made up of protein. Proteins are formed by amino acid, funnily enough. Out of the 21 amino acid our bodies need, our body can only synthesize nine, meaning our body can only create nine, and in order for us to get the other 12, we must get it from our diet. So for starters, be sure to get your amino acids, whether it's from your food or from your essential amino acid supplements. The truth is, everyone has a different amount of protein they need. Someone who is more physically active will require more than someone who isn't. The recommended baseline is 0.75 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And different studies have shown people who are active will require twice as that. So what happens if we eat more than this? Well, other than the dehydration, headaches, bloating, smelly farts and big poops, your body does actually do more things on a high-protein diet. For example, it starts to burn more calories. This is because of the process thermic effect of food. This is how much energy our body uses to absorb the nutrients we intake. You guessed it, protein needs a lot more energy than carbs and fats. For example, it is estimated that in order for us to absorb protein, we would require up to 35% of its energy provision, whereas only up to 15% for carbs and fats. So, basically, the more protein you eat, the more calories you will lose, and studies show it can be a lot higher the more active you are. Just for context, a study that was published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition has shown that you can burn 200 more calories a day than a person on a low-protein diet just by eating. Now, I know this is relatively good news, but there are a lot of health risks that come with overconsumption of protein. For example, you can develop kidney stones. Studies have shown that consuming too much protein can raise urinary calcium levels and reduce urinary citrate levels, which promotes the formation of calcium stones. Now, this may not be deadly, but it is not ideal. In order for us to remove kidney stones, the stones have to be broken. One of the way of breaking the kidney stones is by inserting a scope into your urethra, going all the way into your bladder to break the stones. Trust me, I don't want anything inserted into my urethra, and I don't think you do too. As we are on the topic of kidneys, it is also true that if you have a lot of protein, waste can get built up in your blood. If this is the case, it will be more difficult for your kidneys to remove the waste. But there is no evidence to suggest that this will damage your kidneys as a lot of the people suggest on Google. However, it would be wise to not over-consume your protein if you have a kidney condition Although there is not enough scientific data to suggest a kidney will get damaged from overconsumption, it just does not make sense to put more workload onto your kidney. The heart is the most important organ we have, literally. As everyone already knows, when our heart stops beating, we die. Unfortunately, overconsumption of protein from red or processed meat can also lead to you developing a heart disease. A study published by Meta-Analysis has shown that if you get your protein from red meat or processed meat, you are at a 42% higher risk of developing heart disease. This is because of the high levels of sodium, preservatives, unhealthy fats and cholesterol found in the food. However, if you change your protein source to a plant-based source, you are at a lot lower risk of developing a heart disease. Another critical organ that is at risk from overconsumption of protein is the liver. It is responsible for a lot of our body's needs. From combating infections, controlling levels of fat, amino acids and glucose, processing foods, breaking down our foods into nutrients and a lot more. Now a lot of people say you can damage your liver 
but there is no proof whatsoever to back up this claim. There is, however, some evidence to suggest that an overconsumption of protein can lead to you developing fatty liver disease. This is mainly from a mixture of the high fat and cholesterol accompanying a high protein diet. So can we actually die from overconsumption of protein? Although there are a lot of health risks associated with overconsumption of protein, no studies can directly link it to a cause of death. I guess, in order for us to know if overconsumption will kill us, we will have to wait for more research to be done. However, what we do know is protein is one of the most important nutrients for our body. And if we do overconsume protein for eight weeks, we can in fact drop our body fat. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to watch my previous video on how to fix skinny fat.